Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Tia's Tricks. Hey Tia, what is this? This is a model of states of matter to tell my viewers about states of matter. What is matter? Matter is anything which occupies space and has weight. Like, you see this tiny Lego teddy bear. I keep it here. It is occupying space. If I keep it on my hand, it is heavy on this side, but it is not heavy on this side. As you can see, when I take both my hands are same. But I, when I put this over here, this one goes down because this is heavy. So this is matter. And how these matters are made up of? These matters, this matter is made up of tiny molecules. As you can see, this tiny Lego bear, Lego teddy bear is made up of tiny pe Lego pieces. Like that, the molecules are just like Lego pieces to build matter. And how many states of matters are there, Tia? There are three states of matter. And what are these three states of matter? These three states of matter are solids, liquids and gases. Can you give me some examples? Yes. Solid example is the Lego teddy bear. Beds, tables, chairs, etc. Many. Liquid example are milk, juice, rain, water, etc. There are many. Can you show me the examples of liquid and gases as well in your model? Okay. I can see there are some examples there. So these are some examples of, li of liquids. And okay. these are examples of gases. So let's go back to solids now. Okay. Tia, can I ask you one question? Of course, why not? Why solids are so hard and liquid and gases are not? It is because of the intermolecular force and intermolecular space. What are these space and force? Please explain. As you can see in solids, these are the molecules. The intermolecular space is very less. You can see there is no gap between them. Oh, you mean the space between two molecules is called the intermolecular space. Yes, we can define that in solids, there is very less intermolecular space. They are very tightly packed together and intermolecular force is very high because these are giving very much force to make it hard. Okay, so they are tightly packed together. Yeah. Oh, that's why they are hard. Yes. All right. And if you see... And can you please tell me the other... Okay, you can explain the liquid first. Liquids are like solids only, but they are different. They have molecules, but they are not that tightly packed. They are scattered, but... It is less compared to gases and more, there is le less intermolecular space compared to gases and more compared to solids. So, they, the intermolecular force is low because you can, I, as I told you in solids that they are very tightly packed so they are putting force on each other. So, as you can see, they are not touching each other, so there is very less intermolecular force. There is force, but not that much. It's a, it is very less. Okay. And what about gases? Gases molecules? Gas molecules are very loosely packed. They are very loosely packed, scattered around. There is very, very less intermolecular force. And there is very, very, there is so much of intermolecular space. Okay. So that why, that's why they are scattered. Yes. In all the directions. Yeah, they can scatter. They, up, they are down, freely moving. Everywhere, yeah. All right. 
can you explain some other properties of the states of uh, this, these three states of matter what are the other properties they have solid have definite shape and volume they have very strong intermolecular force they have less intermolecular space they have high density solids cannot be compressed all right and what about the liquid liquids don't have definite shape but have definite volume they have weak intermolecular force large intermolecular space density is low liquids can be compressed all right and what about gases no definite shape and volume very weak intermolecular force very high intermolecular space they have very very low density gases gases can be highly compressed all right so tia can i ask you one question yeah out of these three what's your favorite state of matter my favorite state of matter is gases why because if there was no gas and air there won't be oxygen for us to live all right it's a good point but i think all matters are equally important to us yeah all matter are equally important because food is solid and we also need food to live and we need water to live which is a liquid right and we also need air like oxygen which is gas so all of the states of matter are equal and we need them to live all right tia thank you for answering my all questions you're welcome bye bye guys hope you learned something new please do subscribe my channel if you like the video hit the like button and notification but so that you don't miss my latest videos bye guys see you in the next video